Hello guys, welcome to another video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Johan and I post videos about all my animals. So if you find that interesting, consider hitting that subscribe button. But anyways, in this video, we're gonna pair my Avix and it's gonna be the second pairing of the Everclear Pulbea. And last time wasn't successful because the female was in Primo. And a few weeks after that video was shot, she molted so and now it's been 26 days since she molted and i fed her five dubia roaches but yeah anyways i think it's the perfect timing now to try for the second pairing so i have the male right here and the female here so the plan for this is i want the female to come out on the table and once she's out on the table i'm gonna get the male out because the female is super mellow and the guy is super bolty he bolted last video and he bolted one time before so I am prepared with the catch cup because I'm gonna probably have to catch him one more time. But yeah, that is the plan. And I really wanna be careful because once I get the female out, I don't want the guy to just bolt into the female and the female just eats him, so. But yeah, I am prepared. I have this cardboard box to try to separate the spiders. I don't know if that's gonna help, but I am as prepared as I can be. So let's see if we can get the spider out. All right, there she is, right there. And let's see if she wanna go out because last time when I tried to move her, she didn't wanna go at all, so. I'm gonna try to get her onto the cork bark and then I can just lift the cork bark out because this girl is not moving. Just like last time. All right, female's out. All right, so I'm gonna get the male out and I don't want him to bolt over to her. So I'm gonna try to release him and I'd rather prefer that he bolted this way than that way for now at least. So I'm just gonna try to get him out. I'm a bit concerned because I don't see any interest in none of the spiders. They're not like drumming. And now the male is on the move, so let's see what he does.
All right, so the thing that is happening right now is that the male is trying to lift up the female, but he's coming from like the side and he wants to be in front of her and the female is kind of like moving around with him. But right now they're in a position where he can almost lift her up. And so hopefully it will work soon. I don't know what they were doing, but the female is acting so weird, like she did last pairing as well. Yeah, so the male definitely did something. I don't know what he did, but he did something. And yeah, I don't know if it was successful or not, but I really don't want to separate them just yet because the male didn't bolt away. So they might go for a second try, which they're doing now, I think. All right, now he's like straight ahead of the female. He's perfect position. And uh, the waiting game starts again. I mean, I don't know how I will edit this. So I don't know how you will see it, but they've basically been sitting still like that forever. And then it's like five minutes of active time and then forever still. So I'm obviously gonna cut that out, but this pairing has been over an hour already. So I don't know how long this is gonna go, but um, I know a spider pairing takes a long time, but yeah. It's just boring sitting when there's nothing happening, but now obviously it's something happening. So let's see if they actually manage this time. All right, so it looks like they're done for this time. I'm gonna put the male back because the female has started to walk away from the male. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get the female to go into her enclosure again. And I'm actually gonna cuff the male. Like that. And it seems like the female is going in her enclosure by herself. I'm just gonna give her a little scooch. Actually, before you go in, let me put this back in for you. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so while she is being stubborn to walk in, 
I'm gonna get the male into his exhibit. Okay, I guess she was walking in. So I'm gonna try to do this like this. Come on, buddy. And then just get him to walk. No, 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 no. Wrong way. All right, I'm just gonna have it like this. For now. And hopefully he will climb down. Perfect. And as you can see, the female is in this exhibit. Almost. I'm just gonna get her in. Now I really want to have this little side on the enclosure damp. And I want to wet it down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let her just settle a bit. Let the male recharge. And then I'm gonna try again. I don't know when, but I'm gonna try it again. So I'm probably gonna put that in this video. So I'm just gonna do a quick time jump until the next pairing. So I'll uh, see you guys soon. All right, so we're back. I paired the AVIX two times now. The second time the female got the male. So the male is not with us anymore. I have another male that I could pair with the female, but I'm just gonna wait to do that. I'm just gonna see if the female lay a sack first. And if she doesn't, I'm gonna try with the other male. The thing is that it's really hard to see into the enclosure where she would lay the sack if she lay one. But I'm gonna figure out a way somehow to see that. And the two times I paired the spiders again, I didn't really record that other than my TikTok, but I have some footage I can put over me right now. But other than that, I didn't really film it. Honestly, it wasn't that much to see. It was just the same thing as last time. It took forever and they finally paired and it looked successful. So hopefully with the two pairings and uh, I think it was three pairings in this one, like when they actually did it, uh, that will make it a successful breeding and hopefully I will have a sack and that will be amazing because having a sack of AVIX that will just be really cool it will be cool for the channel because I'm gonna show you when I set up the baby enclosures and all that stuff so it's just really exciting so I really hope I will get a sack but that's about it for this video leave a comment what you think about the pairing if you have any tips how I'm gonna do with the sack if I can't see it and stuff like that Leave a comment if you liked it, leave a like if you liked it, and I will see you in the next video.